सो आई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो विच इज पार्ट ऑफ माई पाइथन बेसिक सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज क्लीनिंग द रॉन्ग फुल डेटा इन ए पांडास डेटा फ्रेम सो यस गाइज वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो क्लीनिंग द एम टी डेटा सेल्स एंड जनरली एनालाइजिंग डेटा सो नाउ दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प अस रियलाइज वॉट टाइप ऑफ रॉन्ग फुल डेटा वी कैन गेट इन आवर डेटा फ्रेम एंड हाउ वी कैन क्लीन इट so guys if you like my videos and you want to support me please do please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for further notifications also please do hit the like button on this video and share it with your friends as well and now without delaying this video any further let's get started so guys as you can see on my screen i basically have pandas imported and i have a df data frame object which is actually reading data from a csv file so the first thing is let's have a look at the first five rows and now let's see the date column here so guys most of the times people get problems uh, in the date column because the formatting of the date is not correct so as you can see here we have got date in all different sort of formats so in first row we have got the year first in the third row we have got the date first and you know in this row we have got the month first so definitely there are all sort of different formats going on here and what we want is a consistent date format so that we can actually work with it and the way to do that is a method which is called as pd dot to underscore date time so all you have to do is you have to pass the date column of your data frame in this and now i will assign this uh, corrected date column to my data frame column and once i execute this statement if i do df dot head you will see that my date column is perfectly formatted and all the values are having a same format so guys this is how you can actually correct a date problem a uh, date column another thing which you can do with data types is for example you can convert a float data type or an integer data type or from you know float to string and string to float like that for example we have got a fair column here and let's suppose what i want is to truncate the float values and just have a integer fair here so what i can do is i can use a method which is called as as type so let me have df fair and df fair becomes equals to df fair as type and this is a float column and i want to convert it into an integer column so i can just write here int and now if i do df dot head you will see that all my float values are truncated and i'm getting an integer value here similarly guys you can convert a uh, numeric column into a string column and then you can convert it back to a numeric uh, float or an integer column and that is how using these data type conversions you can actually get a correct data another part of thing which uh, normally comes into our way is when the data values are not correct so let's say if uh, let's go to the data here so basically i have got this data and let's suppose my age value is here by mistake written as 122 so if i reimport my data and i do df dot head you can see that for the first passenger the age value is uh by mistake given as 122 and definitely it's a very rare chance that somebody will have such a old age so another way is which is called as a filtering out your wrongful data so we can do something called as a df h becomes equals to df h where uh df age where age value is equals to is uh, less than 100 so only if uh, the age value is less than 100 we will keep that row or we will simply drop that row okay so let's see how we can do that so basically what will happen if uh the age is less than 100 then we will 
sort out those uh, rows and we will create a new df and let's close this and now let's get this so basically if you have your new df here you will see that the row in which my age was 122 that row is simply eliminated okay so uh, what we have done here is that wherever the age value was less was uh, greater than 100 we didn't include it into the new data frame but wherever the age was less than 100 we included it into our new data frame and uh, that is how we removed all the wrongful age values in our data so basically guys you can apply these filters and you can get rid of the wrong values or the wrongful uh, rows and uh, guys the next thing in cleaning the data and probably the last thing is removing the duplicate values so let's go to our data frame guys and the one thing i'm going to do is i am going to simply duplicate two rows so I have basically created two rows which are exactly the same. So now if I import my data and I do df.head, you can clearly see that I have got passenger ID 1 uh, in two rows. So the first and the second row are basically the same. So the function which we can use to remove these values is called as df.drop duplicates. Okay, so the first thing is if you want to print that, okay, is there any duplicates in my rows? So if you just write duplicated, df.duplicated and let's try. And then you can see that the zeroth row, that is the first row is false. It means it's a unique row. But the next row, the first in uh, the second row is actually having a value tree, uh, true, which means that this is a duplicated row. So wherever we are having duplicate rows we can simply remove it with the help of a function which is called as df dot drop duplicates duplicates and you can write in place equals to true and after doing that if i just do df dot head you can see that the passenger id one is now having only one occurrence not two occurrence so one of the occurrence which was a duplicate row is simply removed using this function so guys uh, that was all about this video i hope this was interesting for you and you learned something from it if you have then please 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 subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and also share this video and like this video as well and uh, thank you so much for watching everyone until next time bye bye